five. All right. Hey, everybody. This is Rogue on Blades and Blasters. Another episode of Edge of Decay. This will be episode two, um, where we're play testing this new setting. Uh, it's pretty much second edition chaos system. Um, one thing I wanted to let everybody know too, uh, I had this idea. If um, if you guys wanted to at any time, you could uh, burn one of your luck points, uh, which is in your luck pool, if you ever wanted to uh, to use what's called an edge, uh, which gives you an, basically the chance to roll twice on one of your rolls. Uh, this could be for skill rolls or attack or defense or whatever you wanted to do. Um, but you would have to call this before you actually roll. Um, yeah, so who do we have playing tonight? Uh, can you introduce your character and yourself, please? We could start with uh, left to right down on the roll 20. We could start with Zypher. Hey, uh, I'm playing Colt. Uh, Colt's a burnt out police, you know, um, a cop and did some time um, and finally finds himself on Helios through uh, various means uh, which have left him under a lot of debt, not just uh, monetary but also favors, the kind of favors you don't want to owe to the kind of people you don't want to owe anything um, and through that he now finds himself uh, hitched to the story um, through the corpse again um, he's hoping he's able to get out of this one alive but he's not quite sure based on the people he has met and he's now working with Mine. Nice. And, uh, Brother Crud. Hey, I'm Ghost. I'm playing Brother Crud. Brother Crud is a, uh, criminal. We'd say reformed criminal. Not really, though, because he's still in crime. Uh, but he's got, uh, <laughs> cult, cult aspirations now, so that's good. Um, right now, uh, Brother Crud was working for a local crime lord. Um, and he's been spending corporate money that's not his, so we'll see how that goes. Wanderer. Hi, I'm Wanderer, and I'm playing Drift. Drift is just the driver. At least that's what he wants to be. Um, except, uh, he, he kind of got caught up in something and... Now he's had to have his half his jaw and one of his ears replaced. But, you know, things are still looking up. He's got some money, which is the first time in years. So he's feeling hopeful despite everything. And Walter Peck. Uh, WP playing Quaritch, a grizzled veteran of both the military, the police, and the mean streets of Old Earth. Uh, he had finally thought he had got his meal ticket, leaving Earth for Helio Station, and it seemed he was out of the frying pan and into the fire as he is immediately put into a firefight as they went to meet uh, the individual that he'd been set up to work for uh, to find him, I believe, dead. He is now kind of... Uh, teamed up with Brother Crud and Drift uh, to kind of find out what's going on. And we laugh last, last left Quaritch uh, taking Drift and Crud to a street dock to get stitched up after Drift made the mistake of zigging instead of zagging and taking a few bullets to the face. Nice. And I left some notes there for you to catch you up on. I see that. Thank you. Stuff there. And, uh, yeah, Shadow. I'm Tetnok, and I'm playing Shadow, uh, or Kazuki Ron, a Ronin, 
uh, who is a former corpo asset, uh, currently uh, working for himself, and uh, he uh, was given a mission with Colt, and uh, during that mission, uh, he ran into Brother Crud and Drift, and uh, away we go. Hell uh, yeah. Oh, and it seems um, I was wrong, Corch. Um, you do get to do uh, your gift rolls. And uh, I think one more ability upgrade if you want to if you want to choose the uh, same one or if you want to choose another one. I added a couple more in there that you could look through under the uh, character classes there. I nah, will worry about that after the game. Cool. All right. And uh, I'm going to read this here so we can catch everybody up. It's been a while. Everybody should have sight there. Last time on Edge of Decay, the crew found out what happened to Andrew to Squeeze. It ends up he was working with a group called the Icarus Network. Some group of vigilante hackers, or so they claim. They had stolen some data from a megacorp called Ichigo. Ichigo handles security and weaponry for most, much of the space station on Helios. They're a major player. Their data chip ends up getting hijacked and falls into Andrew, the squeezes lap. Then, while he is at his apartment with his gang, waiting on his new bodyguard to arrive, they get attacked by the Chrome Rippers. A gang of cyberware thieves, drug addicts, and human traffickers. Later, a Ronin, Shadow, and an ex-cop, Colt, they hunt down the data chip there that their employer wants, since Andrew never paid up. It was being held by some dude named Brother Crud and another guy called Drift, who seemed like they had no idea what they were carrying. The four had begun negotiations when a group of thugs drove up in a truck looking for the briefcase that Brother Crud was holding. A fight ensued, and after several gunshots and swinging blades, several lay dead. The chip was returned to Shadow's client, a synth who called himself the Contractor. He claimed to be working for the Icarus Network. So the group didn't know too much about the network, but they didn't care too much either. They were finally getting paid. Oh, and the mysterious briefcase. It was a little lighter now. It had had some kind of envelope inside when it had the data chip in it with some strange symbol. Now the chip is gone, sold to the Icarus network, and Brother Crud still has the case with some money still inside. So finally, after one day, Shadow gets the location deeds on the next crumb of the trail to find Andrew the Squeeze. The crew is heading towards the stacks in search of the target. And they're pretty sure they'll be running into more chrome rippers. Can you see the contract there? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And that's just a reminder. Um, I think this is the location that they send you, Shadow. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, oh. Oh, excuse me just a second. Um, uh, go ask your mom. So that information there. I don't think you told them, though, that they were actually getting 6000 per head. Well, I don't think we... Did we have this information yet? I don't remember having this. Uh, regardless, he um, brings... Uh, I don't know if... Uh, water packs with us but um he shadow um pulls in uh brother crud uh, and the rest of them and uh, he'll go over this he says well got uh, more information on andrew the squeeze the stacks area g sector 12 the dollhouse high rise 23rd floor apartment 237 Six thousand per head. Pretty good pay. Mm 
Yeah, that's a lot of money, man. Crud like scratching his chin. Not for you, brother Crud. Oh, you're <laughs> talking about the case, yeah, yeah. It's it's still a lot of money though. I think we need to find a place to stash that, don't you think? Yeah, it's probably not very smart to be carrying it around all the time. And uh, for uh, before you can see it, Crud, he is wearing a brand new uh, fancy suit of armor <laughs> uh, that does not look cheap. <laughs> we got paid three... Uh... 3k for the last uh, job uh, is that where you uh, got the money for your new uh, new kit oh uh, no <clears throat> he goes through and he pulls out a backpack that's just loaded to the brim with just molotovs um, there's 10 of them in this backpack I bought a bunch of these uh, I bought a, a big sword. You know, you know how you're using that sword the other time? I liked it, but it was a little, it was a little small for me, so I got a big sword. You know what I mean? He has a fucking long sword over his back. Ah. <laughs> and then he, uh, he says, no, I, I, uh, I, you know, I figured, you know, we're doing this to save squeeze, so I spent a little money from the case. Yeah. Uh, getting the shot doesn't feel too good, you know. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's fine. That doesn't bother me at all. Uh, he gives Drift a look, and then I look to Colt and says, Well, this is the address. But... That's... Is it... So, that that's that's the address we were at first? That's his house? No, this is a new place, I'm pretty sure. This is a new place. Okay, okay. Um, so... Well... If I know anything about the stacks, it's not that we can just walk in and knock on the door. If there's going to be a firefight, there's going to be a lot of resistance. Maybe we should see if there's another way to get in, not through the front door for sure. And he looks to Brother Crud. That's that's how people get caught when they when they make big expenses. Uh, but I like the style. Maybe put an overcoat on so people don't see this brand new gear walking around the streets. Oh, that's a good idea, man. He's gonna look around where they're at and see if there's like a store with some, buy some clothes from. Yeah, definitely. And he'll buy an overcoat with case money. You grab something quick, uh, something, uh, something cheap, or you want something like badass looking nice? <laughs> it's not my money, it's something badass. <laughs> <right. laughs> it's gonna fit his aesthetic, uh, but it's gonna be. Pricey. What would that be? <laughs> no, it's gonna be gothy, you know. Yeah. Murder psychopath. It's gonna have a. a, a Collar's going to be flared up, all vampiric. I think uh, Q is calling someone. Yes, go on. No, I just wait until you're done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Drift. Uh, you're getting a phone call. Uh, oh, so, oh, sorry, lads. I just got a... And um, he'll just you know, step aside a few paces and take the call. Drift, it's uh Quaritch. How you feeling? Oh, yeah, uh yeah, not bad, not bad. Um Yeah, brother Crud's uh pretty uh pretty kitted out, yeah. <laughs> yep. And uh, he sounds a little nervous. <laughs> well it's good to uh good to hear. Sorry I haven't been around recently, but I've been spending the last few days uh trying to track down these chrome rippers and uh found out one of their hideouts is an old abandoned subway system uh, in a different area from here i don't know if it's worth checking out or what kind of leads you have oh oh yeah uh hold on hold on um um and he he goes over and goes uh, uh um 
Shadow, Shadow, can you talk to Quaritch a sec? And he just hands the phone over. Yeah. Who? <laughs> he has no idea who he is. Relief. Yeah, yeah. of course, that's the same thing. Oh, He's just true. kind of listening. Hey, he goes, uh, who the fuck is this? Oh, who yeah, the fuck sorry, is just, this? He just, he just grabs I don't know. I just said, who the fuck is grabs, this? Who the fuck is grabs, this? <laughs> grabs the phone back. He goes, oh, yeah, you guys didn't meet, did you? Oh, right. Um, uh, right. And he kind of holds the phone between the two of them and goes, uh, Shadow, this is Quaritch. Quaritch, um, Quaritch was in the original fight where Andrew, we, we, yeah, we first found Andrew the Squeeze gone. Um, the one where you Quaritch, got your face blown just, off? That's the one. Um, and he kind of involuntarily touches his jaw. And he's, um, and Quaritch, Quaritch, this is Shadow. Shadow's got a lead on the Chrome Rippers. And Andrew the Squeeze. Gentlemen, you've now been introduced. Take it away. And he just hands the phone back to Shadow. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, please. well, uh... I do have a lead on, I, whatever. Yeah, um, six thousand ahead, and uh, here's the address. And he'll read off the address. We're gonna head there soon. I don't know if you want to meet us where we are. Where I'm not sure where we are, but you think Andrew's there? That's what my contact says. Okay, I found a hideout of the Chrome Rippers too. So if nothing pans out at this location we can try this uh subway station they might have something there of use but i'll meet you uh there all right uh we're gonna get going here in the next hour so i'll be there he hangs up and looks at drift and he's like oh thanks and just tosses him back the phone I, I just felt I was like piggy in the middle, and yeah, you know, yeah. And uh, he kind of takes the phone back. Looks at uh, Brother Crud and goes, uh, nice overcoat. Nice. Yeah, you I, want one? They're on, I mean, they're not on sale. We got money. You know, right? No, no. <laughs> that's, that's very good of you, mate. I'm, I'm a bit nervous about the suitcase money, you know that. And, uh, no, it's all good. Thanks, though. You're, you're, uh, you're a gent. Oh, thanks, man. No problem. All right. So you guys, uh, what are you uh, driving right now, Drift? What are you driving everybody around in? So he had just been using his kind of rented taxi, but for this, you know, now he's now there's serious money at stake. He's 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 uh, he's pulled Christine out of lockup. His, uh, his his red and black um, uh, kind of muscle car, and he's uh, he's got her sitting on the pavement. On, not nice. not on the pavement, by the pavement. <laughs> he's better at parking than that. All right, so you you, uh, you end up everybody ends ends up jumping in and taking off to the stacks. Heading into the stacks is a. Uh, it's more lower income area and um, uh, when you get closer to the spaceport there's a lot of uh, corporate locations and, and high money areas and the stacks is where the lower income live it kind of uh, it gets more and more filthy more and more congested and uh, and then you get closer to the docks area uh, so when you get into the stacks, it's just, you know, small apartments piled on top of each other. You know, 40 floors all the way up to, you know, one side of the station to the, the, the other ceiling to the floor. Um, this place doesn't rain, of course, since it's a space station. But there's enough leaky pipes here where it seems like it's raining. It's probably not water either. It's probably something else. Great. <laughs> Sewage. <-er. laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> the juices of <laughs> Yeah. All right. Move you guys over to this next scene here. 
uh, as you guys make your way in there, um, park in the vehicle, go into the stacks, up to the, uh, I think it's the 20th floor, let's see. Apartment 237. Um, when you get outside the door, it's very quiet, uh, except for the noises down the down the aisleway, down the hallway. You can hear like, you know, families and screaming and dogs uh, barking, uh, the normal sounds of like these apartment areas. Uh, you don't see much anyway of security in the hallway as you're walking down the, towards the door. And um, let's see here. There it is. Um. You guys do notice when you get outside of the doorway, though, uh, Quaritch comes walking up. Um, what does Quaritch look like? I don't think the other guys have met you yet. Quaritch, older, definitely has, you know, lines on his face and wrinkles from years of uh, hard living. Uh, somewhat older, <clears throat> comes in kind of casually carrying a shotgun that he had recently acquired uh, for Drift and Crud. He, they'd notice he's already found himself uh, a flak vest of some kind and upgraded from the, the long coat he had been wearing. Um, he looks tired, a little run down. Uh, the last you both knew, he had gone hunting for these Chrome Rippers to, to find answers on Andrew the Squeeze, and you're not quite sure what he's been doing since then. Uh, it's clear he's been, you know, catnapping where he can and spending most of his time on the on the prowl, hunting down his quarry. Uh, but he looks ready to go. Uh, someone able to push through the sleepiness and weariness and complete the mission and goes up to the quartet, nods to Crud and Drift and looks to the other two. I assume one of you is uh, Shadow. And uh, Drift will kind of say, oh yeah, um, fellas, this is this is Quaritch. Uh, Quaritch, this is Shadow and Colt. And, each, and as he mentions their names, he kind of indicates them with a, with a hand. Quaritch just nods to him. Gentlemen, sounds like we got a job to do. Yeah, um, Shadow's wearing a, a mask and a black uh, outfit. Looks like some sort of stealth wear. Um, you're on, yeah, you wouldn't notice anything else uh, odd about him besides he has a sword on his hip. Uh, he just nods. Let's get this done. Uh, Cold gives a nod to Quartridge. Uh, Cold's kind of a similar age range as Cotridge, like older gentleman. He's dressed um, like someone who used to be a cop. You can kind of make out by the way he stands and um, his trench coat. Um, and, you know, underneath you can see like this, like just threadbare suit and um, like shirt. He's, he has this kind of like a weird cap on. It's not a fedora, but it's also not uh, it's 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 just it, it clearly it used to be something he's found it in the trash and he now wears it on his head. Um. <laughs> yeah, Crud um, is putting on a hockey mask as Corish comes up. He's, oh, what's going on, Corish man? He's fully kitted out, of course. Good to see you, young brother. It feels like it's been a minute, you know. Doing okay. Nothing a little uh, caffeine and chow won't solve and good night's rest, but that's not in the cards right now, is it? No. I see you doing all right. Oh, yeah, man. You know, I just 
got some new threads. You got a pretty good, you know, deal on some armor. I think you're tired of getting shot, you know. Can't say I blame you. Of course, you uh, didn't take the worst of it. Uh, I'm like our friend uh, Drift here, but um, yeah. If you don't need to soak those rounds, there's no point in doing it, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, let's say everybody. So, how we want to do this? You want me to just blow the door off the hinges and we go in? Or what do we, what do we want to do? Are, are we on the first floor, um, Rogue, to this building? Yeah, we can say that. Um, say you guys are heading up to the top if you want, or, or wherever you like to be. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, Shaz, like, oh, it's um, 23 stories up. Drift is looking uncomfortable and says, I, I don't like leaving the car here. I kind of wish I bought the taxi now. He's looking around the neighborhood and not liking what he sees. Uh, Shadow would go up. He, Shadow goes up to the door and uh, is the main door unlocked? Can they enter the lobby or whatever it is? Yeah, it actually opens up by, uh, automatically when you get close to it. He peeks in. Is there like uh, attendance or anything in there? Or is it just like a stairwell type of thing yeah you actually don't see any attendant it looks like like a vending machine with um apartment numbers and uh some of them are lit up like they're vacant and some of them are blacked out like you can put the credits in push a button and a key drops out there's no attendant and the, and the stairs do go up there's also an elevator it's operational is there a is there a fire escape outside there is. 23 stories. Shadow says, I think we should split up. Yeah, I'll take, I'll be part of the group that takes the elevator. I mean, should I stay with the car? <laughs> Shadow says. I think they're going to steal it. Well, yeah, it's a beautiful car. And look at this place. He's looking very uncomfortable. <laughs> You can just lock it, man. You know, it's not going to go anywhere. Yeah, oh, and, uh, yeah, Griff, Griff locks it and um, kind of enables any security he's got, which is probably not much more than the standard model. And he's, he's going, oh, jeez, I need to get... There's so much I need to get for this car. Armored glass. Better security systems. Hey, look, man, if I'm wrong, you know, I got some money, just buy you a new car, you know what I mean? It's not a big deal. <laughs> you can't, you can't just, this is, this is, and he, he, he's, he's struggling for words, and you just, you see as he does, he's kind of slightly stroking the car. He doesn't even realize he's doing it, he's kind of like pats the car slightly. No, you can't just buy another one like this, this is, this work and love gone into this. Eventually you're gonna run out of money. I know it seems hard to believe, but... No, I think it'll be fine, man. I feel like I got good things coming my way, you know? Uh-huh. Drift, go ahead and make a perception check. Okay. Oh, sorry, I didn't see that in the chat. Nice. All right. Um, while you're uh, petting the uh, the car and stuff, and uh, looking around, kind of nervously, um, I'm gonna whisper something to you. It makes more sense for me to whisper it to you. Um, who's going to be part of the, uh, is everybody going to split up? I'm going to go, um, my plan is to go up the, the outside. Anybody else can come with me or they can just all go up the elevator if they want, but I'm going to go up, uh, with my metal legs. Crud will go in heavy. He's just going to go in the front door. Um, uh, hey, Ro uh, Rogue, I have a quick question. In like places like this uh is there like a security room 
uh, and you know uh, where there's cameras potentially like showing all the corridors uh, assuming that there are no cameras showing the insides of rooms um yeah. so you know Bolt would like to see if there's a place like that and he could maybe run some tech skills to gain access and then you know provide better uh, recon data yeah definitely well, uh, you want to stay on the first floor and look for that yeah yeah so you know when brother brother crud says he's planning to go in heavy he kind of looks at everyone and colt uh, mm, most places like these have a close circuit security system i could try and get into one and see what's on that floor give you a better understanding of the layout rather than going in blind and hitting it hard or is it hitting it blind and going in hard i, I don't quite remember anymore drift is looking nervously down the street he's kind of staring at something oh okay and he, he um he looks down the street and then he watches a car that drives past and uh kind of drives off he kind of scratches his his metal chin oh, I like that I think I think I just saw a car that I saw following me before like you remember when we we met and he looks at Shadow and Colt and then um, and then I went and got in my car and I picked everyone up and I thought someone followed me there but I thought I lost them now I think I may have I may have seen the same car just drive past it's not that unique a car could be wrong but it's got me a little it's got me wondering you think we're being followed yeah I think so did the car drive out of sight Rogue? they did mm -hmm. did I get a look at the people inside you did see two shapes, but the the windows were tinted pretty well. Um, mm. Did seem like there were two people in the front, and it was a van, a dark van. Okay. Oh yeah, van. That's right. Yeah. This, uh, I don't know, but yeah, there's this van. They had tinted windows. I couldn't see, but you know, fairly ordinary van. A lot of things, a lot of vehicles with tinted windows. I don't know. It's but. It's enough to get me nervous. We should go after them then. We can't be looking over our shoulder the entire time. Yeah, we get they're... heavy out in the streets, they're going to hear us up top. That's true. We should follow the van, though. Well, you know, maybe what we're doing with this, you know, upstairs, after we, you know, get the squeeze back, maybe drift, if you feel safer being with a car, you could, you know, drive around a little bit. Just try to, you know, stay out of sight, come back and get us when it's done. I don't know. Yeah. Lead them yeah. away? Yeah, you know, keep them away. I, you, you can even hold the case. I don't really want to hold this when I'm in here for, you know, shooting things up. You know, he's like trying to give Drift the case. <laughs> Drift is backing away and you go, no, man, it's your case. It's your your thing. I don't want to, I don't want to put myself in the middle of stuff where I don't. Oh, yeah, I don't belong. I might lose it or something. I mean, yeah. Um, and, um, he says, yeah, but I'll, I'll do that. I'll, yeah. And he looks more confident, sort of saying this. He goes, yeah, I can do that. I'll, uh, I can tail them. And if they try and tell me, I'll, I'll lose them. It's all good. I'll find something out. Good luck, fellas. I'll be on, uh, and he kind of waves his phone. He goes, I'll be on the blower if you need me. Cred looks at everybody else. All right, so I'm gonna go in heavy through the front door because it's uh, you know I I don't really like my chances climbing the building. Uh, you said Colt, you want to get on the security? Is that what you said you were gonna do? Yes, brother Crud. If I can get access, I can tell you at least what you're walking into. But still free to feel free to walk in. 
Oh uh, man, I'll wait for you to get in. I'm gonna start heading up there though. Yes. You guys do that. And if I can break in and tell you, then by means go ahead and I will join you as soon as I can. Shadow finds the fire escape and I'm going this way. I'll meet you there. Gorge, you coming with me? Yes, sir. Alright, it'll be like the last time. It'll hopefully go a little better than the last time, you know. We won't have that one crazy looking guy just dodging between bullets and shit. Yeah, right. <laughs> Alright. Brother Crud and Quartz go to the uh, elevator. Shadow goes up the fire escape. And Colt heads to the security office while Drift gets in the vehicle. Alright, Colt, you reach your uh, location faster than the others. Um, you're able to find the security office pretty easy. Um, it looks like uh, you can hear what sounds like maybe a TV on. Uh, inside the security office. It says security on the outside of the door. It's on the first level. And it's right near the bathrooms. And you can, uh, um, you can see kind of like light, you know, coming from underneath the, the door. Uh, but that's it. You just hear some, some kind of uh, TV on inside. Okay. Uh, do I, do I still, do I have a badge? No, I don't have a badge, right? Um, no, I don't think... Yeah, you're an ex cop to, yeah. Yeah, note to self. Figure on getting one for the future. Always helps. Um, so, okay, yeah. So, so Colt goes up to the door um, and politely knocks. And as soon as the door starts opening, uh, he grabs the handle pulls it close and then, you know, pushes it with great force so as to kind of knock the person out. You know what I mean, right? Like, as they're opening yeah. the door, they don't expect. So I, I jerk it away from them and then push it really hard back into their face. Um. <laughs> All right, nice. Um, this guy seemed like uh, he's on the other side of the door. Um, go ahead and do a, uh, um, like an unarmed right. attack? Yeah, let's do an unarmed, yeah. Right. And we'll give him a... Oh, it's just a d20. Okay, cool. Okay. And, uh, go ahead and do the, uh, the damage, um, and put a two in the power multiplier. Okay. Oh, wait, two in the power multiplier. Let me do that again. Damn it. And, um... Oh. Yeah. All right, so... Uh, it knocks the guy out unconscious. Uh, he seemed like he was totally unexpecting it, right? Yeah. Uh, and you see the older guy. He's, like, laying in the chair. He slides back in this wheelie chair and ends up laying unconscious, drooling next to uh, the TV that's on still. Uh, Colt looks at him and he's like, sorry old man, uh, this is for your own own good. And then he kind of, kind of, uh, you know, goes behind him and lifts him, you know, by putting his arms underneath his, uh, his arms, lifting him, kind of propping him on the floor away from the monitors and he closes the door. And then he and, and and Cole turns towards the monitors and starts uh, um, seeing if he can figure out how to find more information about the apartment they're going to enter. Yeah, as you're looking through the console and the computer and stuff, this isn't very much high security at all. You do notice uh, there's a few cameras here and there that. Um, that show up on the floors, show some hallways and stuff like that. Nothing interior or anything like that. Uh, and a lot of them are even out, you know. 
looks like you know they don't keep up with the money and uh, to pay for this security system very well. And this guy's old, you know. He's 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 getting up there in age. Uh, he does have a pistol on his belt. Yeah, Colt will take the pistol away from him just so that he doesn't wake up and come after him. Um, and if he can glean any information that would help uh, Crud, Quartridge, and Shadow, um, he would give it to them. And after that, he would just, um, you know, basically uh, shut the whole system down, make it look like it crashed. So that way, you know, all records of them coming and going from this building is erased. Nice. Do you have uh, any computer skills? I think I do. Uh, let me check. Uh, I know I was a techer. <laughs> Oh yeah, you do. Yeah. So you got security systems. Yeah, that would be even better. Yep. Oh yeah, I do security systems. Okay, so I'll roll that. Yeah. Uh. Nice. And that is a good success. All right. So you end up um you end you end up accessing the actual room and you can find out that you can unlock the door from here. Oh, okay. Awesome. Um, you know, on his compad, uh, Colt will tell Crad and Quartridge um, that, hey, um, I can unlock the door. Um, once you're in position, let me know. I'll unlock it, and that would allow you to sneak in without having to bust in. Uh, affirmative. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't worry. We'll get our chance to fucking wreck some rippers you, you can always throw them out of the window uh, it it makes it difficult to collect evidence from my experience oh shit hey that's that's a real good idea Carl. I like the way you think man I might I might do that yeah from that height yeah they won't be able to make out body from any street meat you think if I shoot him out the window it'd be the same as throwing him uh, at from that height, they won't be able to tell, make the difference. Have fun. Thank you, man. Shoot some, throw some. Brennan Crud looks happy again. You guys get to the door uh, that he's graciously unlocked for you. Um, definitely before Shadow gets there. Uh, Shadow, are you are you moving fast, hauling ass up? Yeah, he's mo or? he's moving up pretty quick. Uh, trying to be stealthy, but uh, he would only care about stealth when he get really close within a uh, a story or two. All right. Yeah, otherwise he's he's moving as quick as his fake legs will take him. All right, brother Quentin Quaritch, get to the door. The door's unlocked. Um. How do you guys want to enter? You don't hear any sounds inside. Uh, no smells. I mean, the whole place smells kind of rough, but it doesn't seem like there's any noise that's going on in there. Quaritch, as they're going up the elevator, <clears throat> before getting to the door, he goes, so you going in, uh... With those uh, melee weapons you did before, or are you uh, sticking with shotguns? Uh, uh, I, I think that before we go in, we're at the door. I'm going to do a hit, a slow jack, and then I'm going to go in with the shotgun first. And then when that's out, I'm going to use this big fucking thing. And he like points to a big sword on his back. I might throw them off with tall, but they're in this backpack, so it's gonna be a minute to, to get it out. So I, I probably would just try to fuck people up, man. No fires unless absolutely necessary. I'll cover you with the shotgun once we get in. Oh, no fires. Again, he looks at us. Okay, okay. We gotta we gotta get the boss. You're right. You smart cores, you're right. <laughs> just kind of laughs and he waits for the uh, dude to get his fix, get his hit, and uh, once he gets to the door, he puts his hand on the handle, kind of like 
gets his ear close to the door, not hearing anything. He slowly kind of turns the knob for it to open. And then once he kind of feels like the lock or the latch give way, he looks over at Crud, nods, and then opens the door. Crud hits the slow jack and goes in. Alright, do you have to make any rolls for the slow jack? Oh, uh, yes. I think just um, a body check, right? Because you're already addicted to it, right? Drug tolerance. Probably, right? You can do drug tolerance for those. Yeah, that's right. Um, okay. Okay, yeah. Basic success. So it hits you pretty hard. Maybe you're uh, taking a, uh, a little extra dose in there or something. Everything slows all down. My rolls. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> oh, wait, there's one more. There's one more. This is. Yeah, oh, I'm not very talkative right now. Jesus. Everything gets slow. Whoever goes in first probably looks like it's moving. In slow motion, you know, is uh, I guess, uh, Quartz, you going in first? No, I'm just opening the door. He's leading the way, and I'm covering him. Yeah. Uh, getting out of the fatal funnel of the door, and then covering him. Yeah. See so you rush in. Um. You get in there. There. Uh, the apartment is is uh, it's trashed. There's. You know, old, old uh, gas canisters on the ground for like inhalers. You know, for like pumping up drugs, um, needles, all that shit. Wrappers on the ground, trash. Uh, there's also all of these uh, these beds laying everywhere, little cots, uh, just unfurled onto the ground. For people would like lay down, and it looks like all these wires are are leading to the beds. Where people could like hook themselves up, you know, into uh, into like a VR type of setup. Um, I assume no one's in there, or no one's passed out or comatose. Yeah, you don't see, you don't see anybody in there. Uh, it looks like it's vacant, and looks like they've cleared out. Uh, there's some old computer screens and stuff like that are up that are uh, that are kind of dead, uh, showing static. And um, yeah, it looks vacant. And yeah, with Quirch's background in um, police work, he knows a drug den when he sees it. And uh, seeing no junkies or users in the immediate vicinity. You know, he looks for doors and the and the next one to, to move towards to investigate. And then quietly whispers like over the comm to uh, Shadow and <laughs> Drift and Colt. He goes, first room secure. No uh, gangers or otherwise located. Shadow, at that moment you kind of uh, appear outside the the exit, you know, the uh, outside the window. Mm -hmm. yeah. You notice the window's been tampered with several times. Uh, you could easily just slide it open. Doesn't seem to have an alarm on it either. Mm -hmm. Check for traps. Yeah, go ahead. You could do uh, perception or observation if you have that skill or, or traps. I have observation. Yeah, there is a uh, a trap hooked up on it. It looks like there's a wire there, set up, rigged pretty uh, pretty carefully. Uh, if you were to open up the window, uh, it might set off uh, some kind of detonation. Uh, yeah, he's gonna um, instead of make he's not gonna open it. He just comes back in calm and he says, 
Windows booby tracked. Gonna have to meet you guys inside. And uh, he he doesn't bother uh, trying to. Uh, what it, what is the skill would be to to um disarm it? He could do uh, electronics or demolitions. Um... Burglary. Yeah, yeah, you could do that. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, so You're he, able to do he he disarms it. Uh, he finds the two wires and cuts them and he says, eh, "Disarmed it. I'm going in through the window. Tell me when you uh when you're making your entry." Next room. We're already in, though, right? Oh, okay. Next yeah. room. <laughs> yeah, he'll, s- he'll slide the window open, kind of look around inside. Am I in the same room as them, or...? You're in an adjoining room. Um, you could probably uh, hear them messing around in, in the other room. Nobody um, else in this room? Yeah, it seems like it's vacant. It seems like uh, you're in the bedroom now. Uh, the bedroom has spray paint on the walls and stuff like that. You notice a closet open. There's a couple of things. It looks like a work outfit or utility outfit hanging in there and some and some clothes. Uh, looks like looks like it should be one man's apartment, but uh, it must have been like taken over by some squatters. There's a photograph too on the uh, set, set up next to the bed. It has uh, some female like with a kid, a young boy. She's holding, and they're like squeezing faces together. You'll take it. She looks familiar. Yeah. Uh, I don't recognize it, though. Um, intelligence check. You've seen... You've seen this person Intelligence before. check. Okay. That would be under the attributes. Yeah, team. I'm going to it. This looks like uh, a girl that was out out front of uh, driving that truck. The one that uh, <laughs> got her head chopped off. Yeah. Yeah. He uh, he just slides it into his pocket. Um, and, uh, he'll, he'll look over the room and see if there's anything else that he can find. Is there another, uh, door or anything like that? Uh, yeah, there's a bathroom. There's, a, you know, just junky stuff in there. Uh, but you start looking around. Um. Uh, what else are you guys doing in the other room? Uh, with it being clear, you know, uh, Quartz is going to move on to the next one. Okay. Yeah, you open up the door and you notice uh, shadows in there sliding something in his pocket. Quartz just gives him a nod and continues moving on, seeing that... Uh, they might have found themselves a dead end. As you guys start to investigate that drift, you are uh, mm-hmm. driving around looking for that vehicle? Yeah. All right. You make a few rounds around the neighborhood. You're staying close to the place. Uh, yeah, go ahead definitely. Make... Go too far away. Yeah, go ahead and make a perception check. Can I do observations? Since I'm yeah, you could do that. Them. Yeah. Oh, thank you. And Brother Crud and uh, Shadow and uh, Quaritch, you guys can make a, a check if oh, you want to while you're in that office. Observation. Hey, For observation. Yeah, you could use observation. Oh, you guys Can I use burglary? Too. Yeah. Oof. 
We ain't found shit. <laughs> I found something <laughs> you haven't. <laughs> I thought of that same thing. You <laughs> funny. All right, Drift, as you are making the rounds, um, you notice that van again. The van is parked in an alleyway. Um, and it looks like it's kind of facing the building. Uh, there's a dumpster. Uh, the alleyway. There's a squatter, like uh, some old guy laying in the alleyway, uh, leaning up next to the dumpster. The van is just parked there. So when you're driving by, you kind of see the back of the van. Right, right, right. I'll try and drive past the front. And I'll also, as I'm doing it, I'll be, I'll be on the comm, just saying like, van's part. That van I was talking about is parked out back of the building you're in. That's that's the one, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's a park, the alley. parked out back of the building you're in, in the alley by back there. Can't see if there's anyone in it. And he'll try and peer as he goes past. He won't even be bothered being subtle. He'll just try and uh, try and peer into the uh, to the front, see if there's anyone in there or if they've got out. It looks like there's nobody in the van when you uh when you check it out. Ah, uh, so then your next thing here is and and on comms is drift is going, Oh shit, shit, shit. I think they're coming to join you. They're not in the van. Whoever they are, they're not in the van. Keep an eye out. And then um there's a moment of indecision and he says, uh, I'm going to park out around the corner and see if I can break into the van. See what I can find out. Yeah, Shadow says, if you can't break into it, cut its tires so it can't follow us out of here at the very least. Oh, nice. Yeah, like it. All right, let's see you park drift and sneak up to the van. Yeah, park around the corner. But only just around the corner, so the car's not too far away. Um, sneak back, and um, well, he'll try and just look casual um, as you're going down the alley. And so then the, he's going to then he's going to try and break in. So the squatter is he going to see you when you walk by? I think so. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll chuck him a few credits. Hey man, oh thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you throw him some credits. Um, how many credits do you throw on? Um, what have I got now? Uh, I've got 80 on me, so I'm going to say 20 credits. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, and just say, uh, look, man, if you see anyone, uh, just yell out, right? Oh, thanks. And he looks at it. He's got like three teeth, and he like looks up at you, and he's like, man, you are much nicer than those other guys. Oh yeah? What did uh And Drift is suddenly realizing he nearly missed of an opportunity here, kind of pulls up short and goes, uh what the guys from that that van, right? Yeah, they didn't look too happy. They uh They're heading over there to that building. Oh yeah, did uh, they go in the uh the back up the fire escape? What did they do? Oh, I don't know man. They just started walking towards that building like they had a plan. They didn't were give they, me any uh, money. Were they, um, were they tooled up, you know, like guns? Oh, yeah. They were, they were serious. Right, right, right. What, what did they, uh, what did they look like? One guy was and... bald. And, uh, yeah, he starts telling you about... They had yeah, some armor I'll, on and some weapons. I'll um I'll just open the comms so the others can actually hear this description straight from the uh straight from the guy. Um, yeah. Yeah, so that it doesn't get filtered through me. Um and I'll have that open. And then I'll, I'll give him another another twenty credits and go. Thanks man, you may have uh, you might have saved a life today. Oh thank you man. God bless you man. Yeah, try and uh Try and spend it on food, eh? Yeah. He, thinks, he, he knows he knows that's not what's going to happen. So, but he's just like, 
<laughs> to self his conscience, just in case the guy just now ODs and dies. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> um, yeah, and head over to the van. Um, see if I can break in. I'm, I've got no no skills in kind of burglary or theft or anything, but I do have some very basic skill in mechanics. Okay, yeah, mechanics will work. Yeah, uh, you stood to go over there, Zypher. Um, while you're in the security office, um, through your comm link, you already know what's going on anyway. Uh, from what Drift was saying, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, you see the two two guys come in, um, wearing armor, uh, some pretty serious armor and and uh, weapons. Uh, and it looks like they've got a like one's got a submachine gun, and uh, and he pulls it out, and they start heading towards the elevator. Okay, is the elevator controlled by any chance, like accessible from here? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> if I cannot stop it, what I would do is I would. Make it stop at every floor, <laughs> every floor from where they are till the till the top. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, uh, you so start to uh, work on that. Mm-hmm. Uh, go ahead, and make a computer skill check. Let's see if you can get that going before they get to the elevator. Nice. All right, you start working on that. Um, who got the highest? Burglar roll was uh, twenty-five. Okay, so in the room that you're in, Shadow, um, as you guys are like looking around, checking out the place, um, Brother Crowd got a two. Uh, you're jacked up, like ready to to. Uh, to kill somebody, right? Um, uh, oh, yeah, he's you... just what the fuck's going on. He's just... yeah, you you're pretty you're pretty messed up and stuff, and you're you're looking around, right? Looking around for somebody to to take out, but the drugs are pumping up through you. You end up seeing um, uh, like little kids' drawings on the fridge. And uh, and then you notice uh, a photograph of Janet uh, with some guy, and a little kid is standing in between them. That girl you fucking uh, killed in the in the uh, truck. Make a willpower check. Yeah. I'm gonna say target number is ten for this one. It's pretty. No. All right. So that is gonna be eight away. Eight away from the target number. That's gonna be some damage to your empathy. Moves eight. Um, 2d8 is going to be the damage. (laughs) Ooh. Oh, jeez. Oh! That hits hard. Yeah. He he was an orphan, so kind of, yeah, it kind of fucks him up. So Crud sees it, and he's like, even though he's just zonked on slow jack, like everything's moving real slow, he's like, He's feeling real murderous. He's looking at this photo, and it's all—it's kind of clicking in to place. Who, who, you know, he recognizes the woman. He sees it all together, and he—he's blinking, and he—he he just kind of starts muttering to himself, "Oh fuck! Oh no! 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 No!" And he like—he leans in and starts kind of pounding his head against the refrigerator a bit. Not not super hard, but just kind of like just kind of a steady kind of rhythmic boom. Yeah, Shadow oh. peeks in. Uh, don't we have people inbound? What are you doing, Brother Crud? 
oh man, it was a fucking kid, man. It was a fucking kid, man. He's like hitting his head against the fridge. He looks at the fridge. Is oh, I'm sure, I'm sure the kid's already gone. I mean, hell. You think that was a good mother for the kid? She was fucking wasted, kid. right? Fucking kid, man. I fucking killed her, man. He's uh, hitting his head against the fridge. I gotta, I gotta, oh, fuck, I gotta lead the I gotta get, oh, he just like walks out past Shadow and starts heading to the hallway. Yeah, Shadow, who comes Colt, he's like, Colt, what, uh, what floor are they at? Um, Colt is able to, to, uh, <laughs> stop him, uh, keep him busy for a little bit. So we'll say that they're, they're on, um, uh, floor 10 by the time this is happening. Shadow says, uh, perhaps we can have Colt stop the elevator exactly where we want him. And then, Brother Crud, you can take him out. Hey, Crud, you wanted to use a Molotov, didn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, and he, he says he's snapping away from it. I, I did want to, you know, try it. It's fucking, fucking, and he's like tweaking a bit and he, he starts going into his backpack. I want to use one of these men. Why don't we open the elevator doors here and drop one down the shaft on top of them? No. As soon as that door opens on 23, he's rifling one in there. I'll, You and me will keep a volume of fire to prevent them from getting out and that door will close and they'll burn. You know, that's, that's fine. Yeah, 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 and he's like, he takes the, he puts the, the shotgun away and like pulls the backpack off and starts carrying out to the hallway. Maybe, uh, gonna, maybe Cole can open the door just enough where he can throw it in, but they can't get out. It's gonna set the bag in the hallway and open up so we can just pull straight from it. In the uh, in the closet as well, uh, you did notice some uh, some clothing in there. Uh, since you rolled a uh, really high on the burglary roll, mm -hmm. we'll say um, uh, you were able to find this. Uh, the dock worker garb hanging in the closet. There's a badge on it that says G Dawson. Uh, the company tag says Hilo Gas. Yeah, Shadow, <clears throat> Shadow really doesn't know what that means, um, but he uh, he grabs it and sticks it in his pocket for now. Alright, you guys going to try to ambush these guys in the elevator? Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm going to make a roll, see if this, uh, this happens. Lower is what I'm looking for. All right, the elevator seems to be malfunctioning on several occasions. Um, looks like one of them uh, exits the elevator on the 10th floor and then one of them keeps going up. Colt, you're able to see this on the, uh, the cameras. Yeah, as soon as, uh, you know, I, I see the one guy coming up the stairs, I I call up to the others and, you know, they say, hey, they're split. One's walking up the stairs, one's still in the elevator. I'm um, going to head up the stairs myself. Let's pincer him. I'll go down the stairs. He looks at Q and says, you got this with Brother Crud? We'll handle the elevator. You handle the steps. He nods. He'll head down the steps while coat hand, a cold hand uh, goes up the steps and we can kind of surround the guy, hopefully. Alright. 
ambush him on the stairs. Mm -hmm. Alright. I got a little map this will work for. I've used this one before. I'll maybe you guys ever do that. This is the elevator here. If you guys got a view here. Yep. Yeah. Yes, yes. And then the stairs. Who's going over to the stairs? Me. I'm going I'm going down and I think Colt's coming up. Yep. I'd probably just set up where uh, I could shoot the guy uh, as he comes up. He would tell Colt not to engage until he hears fire. Okay. So you're basically hiding some, hiding mm -hmm. in the... Uh... Alright, you can move your... Put your token wherever you want for this. Uh, for this. And then I'll just have Colt, Colt behind him. Yeah. <laughs> Colt. Crud is no good. Cut. Colt would be kind of a ways off, I guess, if he's uh, just just heading up there uh, as he's like level ten, you know. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Um, are you trying to get up there fast, Colt? Yeah, I, I will try and get up there fast. Uh, okay. But I mean, That's... you know, go up the stairs, but not like make a uh, you know make noise, or, like make a scene of it. Right, not trying to make a bunch of ragged. Yeah. Go ahead and do. Uh, this would be an endurance check if you uh, if you have that skill. If you don't, it would default to the attribute body. Um, he's kind of an older dude, right? Yeah. No, he's no, not that old, is he? He's somewhere in between. Uh, I don't have endurance, so I'm gonna roll body. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So he's coughing and hacking coming up there. <laughs> he's he's losing his uh, stamina. Um, all right, uh, Colt won't be able to get up there uh, in time, Shadow. So um, he'll have to catch up maybe in a round. Yeah, that's fine actually. I just, I want to get the guy's attention up here and have Colt come from behind. Okay. Alright, as the green Ronin starts to uh, make his way, actually I'll move you guys over here so you can see this. Green Ronin? The company? <laughs> Mutants and Masterminds is coming. <laughs> oh no. Fuck. <laughs> the dude has his SMG out and he's like coming up uh, to the 10th floor um, and uh, you're trying to hide up there yeah I'm hiding and then when he comes in range I'll just start shooting him okay go ahead and do uh, your concealment skill check okay let's see <clears throat> and I'll do a perception Jeez. Wow, he's got an old macro. Holy shit. He can see well. Alright. You won't be able to get the sneak attack bonus, but... Um, uh, but you'll definitely get... Uh, oh. You'll, you'll get a plus five to the initiative. That's what you'll get okay. for guarding. Alright, go ahead and do your niche. Okay. Initiative. Here we go. Ah, oh, 
cool. You're gonna get a three tally. So you can use those if uh, if you remember it all. Those are for attacks or defense, or you can add them to damage or whatever it's you just like. Just plus three, just the plus three. Yeah. Okay. If you want yeah. to, uh, you can you can use them, split them up. Yeah. No, I'll probably just use them all right away, honestly. All right. Didn't roll my, I didn't put my initiative in there. All right. All right. As he's coming up, he's kind of like looking around. Uh, maybe he spots your shadow or or whatever at first, you know, and he starts to spin towards you. Mm -hmm. uh, but you got the drop. Okay. What do you want to do? I'm just going to uh, shoot him with my uh, pistol. You have an SMG too now, don't you? Uh, six hour nine millimeter. Okay, that's the pistol. Yeah. Um, I remember you picked up somebody's SMG, but uh, yeah, I don't re I don't recall that, but that's all right. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. Um, uh, do you want to yeah, do? Yeah, I mean, he's all of uh, it. Okay, cool. Uh, well... you could do a um. Uh, an aimed shot and then a double tap or um you could do quick shots just pop, pop i'll do pop. quick shots okay so one action then yeah uh that didn't why didn't it give me a plus three to that yeah whatever did it add your plus I three? Doesn't, yeah, you wrote a four doesn't plus appear, one. Doesn't plus appear to three. have. Yeah, it says you rolled a four, and then you got your plus one spec, and then plus three. Anyway, I hit him. Oh, no, I didn't. That was, uh... Oh, yeah, it did. I was looking at the wrong roll. Eight, I missed. Okay. All right, first shot misses. All right. And then you got one more. Uh, you can burn frenzy though if you want to. Yeah, we'll see. Target number seven. Yep, got him in the second shot. Twenty-seven damage. All right, he gets hit. Falls to the ground. You gonna burn any frenzy? Yeah, I'll, I'll burn one to try to shoot him again. Three shots, pop, pop, pop. One hits him. He falls to the ground. You're definitely gonna have cover from him. Uh, he rolls over on his back and he's gonna fire up at you. Um, he's going to shoot uh, a, a controlled burst for two actions. Right. I should dodge it. Uh, you're going to have, yeah, you're going to have four cover. Okay. So you can put that on your modifier. That's it. Yeah, it's... Some bitch. Mm. 
Oof. 26 damage minus your armor of 3. Yeah. That definitely knocks me down. Alright. We're gonna move over here to uh, the hallway. Um, everybody can actually roll their initiative. Uh, we'll go in it. Uh, we'll, we'll use it that way. Any modifiers? Yeah, give you a plus five modifier. Brother Crud, Corridge. Alright, and you guys are all going to have uh, two combat tally. They got a 20. Colt, you'll have one combat tally. Everybody probably heard the gunfire erupt. Oh, yeah. It's weird my bubbles aren't updating. Yeah, I'm having trouble with this for some reason. I think it's just these, these are like some old sheets I'm using. Sheets shouldn't affect bubbles though. Yeah, it's it's like something, I, something's a lot, something's uh, up with the, how it's connected. Right. Wander said you're not gonna fucking talk about my sheets that way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, this is just my my guys, my two bad guys. For some reason, like my, uh, I think I'm using like old chaos sheets that they were converted over from chaos, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, and it's not edge of decay stuff. It's not the upgraded mm -hmm. stuff. So it's my fault. No, I'm just, um, I'm just thinking. I, have, I think I saw it in a D and D game recently. We had the same problem with the bubbles. So, yeah. Oh yeah. Maybe. All right. Let's see here. All right, brother Crud, what you gonna do? Is he showing up in the elevator? Is this? Yeah, you guys. Um, the doors are opening up. Okay. So when we when we came out here, I wanted to put the backpack of the Molotovs down and open up so I could just grab him from it. Shotgun is sitting on the table. And uh, as soon as that door starts opening up, Crud, the first thing the Ronin's going to see is Crud standing there with two Molotovs, one in each hand, and I'm just going to start fucking throwing these things in this elevator. Nice. So, here's one. I'm not aiming for any of this. Okay. And you had plenty of time to prep, so... I have yeah. no training with throwing things either, so this will go great. All right, target number six to hit that area. Yes. Uh, minus three is what you get. Oh, it's hit. right on six, actually. I had minus two, so it's right on six. Oh, nice. Okay. So he has to defend, and he suffers a uh, minus because it's an AoE. First one busts on the uh, on the wall out here. Flames erupt. And he defies. Uh, we'll throw the second one. <laughs> is that a net twenty? That is a net twenty. Might with the minus three. Nice. 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 All right. So that's going to be. Uh, normally, Maltovs are. 10 power damage, so that's going to be 20 power damage. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Brother Crud is very good at killing people. Alright, let me make sure... I I'm going to do it off the sheet, because I... So, if I, if I put 10 power damage in there, will that work right? Yeah. Yeah, it should be set up. Well, I'm just wondering if it'd be 10 times 10, though. Is it... Uh, mm, 
Let me uh, let me check your sheet real quick. Uh, I, I put D8 exclamation times 10 for the damage. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'll fix it. Two in there. Or? Let's see. It should just be the D8. And there you go. You're set up. And then you just put a 20 in okay, the uh, power, power gotcha. multiplier. <laughs> <laughs> the whole tower goes down. <laughs> what oh, the fuck? Holy shit. <laughs> it's rolling a four. Oh, wait, no, yeah, I have another 10. Yeah, it, 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 it counted the extra 10 power. I think I was doing the roll before the. Uh, okay. uh, 400. Yeah. So, so it's uh, it's it's uh, four times it's, it's eighty, not eight hundred. Well, this dude does have one hundred and five HP, but you're able to kill him with that one uh, Molotov. So how's that look? Oh shit! Wait, one hundred and five minus eighty. What? Huh? What was the actual damage? It would have been eighty. Oh, oh, and it was only eighty. Yeah, it's only eighty. Cause it'd be it'd be four times twenty. Okay, so he's he not is, quite um, dead. Yeah, so he's burning right now and uh, still alive. I will spend. Uh, so, so let me ask you this: um, Am I going to be able to spend frenzy and pull these out of my backpack in front of me and throw more? Um, no, you can't. Uh, you can't spend frenzy to grab stuff. Um, okay. But you can attack with anything that's in your hands. But I guess your hands are empty. Ah, uh, my hands are empty. Yeah, so Crud, uh, Crud's turn is done. He flings two Molotovs. One hits the wall. The other one hits this guy square and just explodes on him. He just lights up in flames. Hell yeah. Uh, fuck you. Uh, it's just, uh, Crud's just screaming because it's, it's the battle frenzy now. All right. It's going to shadow again. Shadow, you're on the ground on in the, the hallway. Ground, yeah. Uh, so I guess I gotta get up. That's a uh, move action, right? Uh, it's just half your movement. Yeah. Uh. <sighs> yeah, I got no choice really. Um. I can't. It won't take any of your AP though. So. Drawing is is movement as well. Drawing my sword instead. Yeah, drawing. Yeah. Drawing. So I, I just got to shoot then. So he gets up and he's he's bleeding pretty good after that shot. Um, and then he's gonna return fire. I'm gonna try to um do a big shot here for two AP. What what does that do? Just give me two power dam or times two. On damage. Um, if I spend what, two a sorry, two actions, what is the two actions? The two actions I can take <laughs> instead of a quick yeah, shot. Yeah, like if a you want to try the double tap, yeah, double tap, double tap. It'll be times two. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm gonna do. Jeez, come on. All right. He's minus. Nope. Oh, two more bullets ripping the wall. You can burn two frenzy, do the same thing if you want. I'll burn one and do a single. Do a single shot. Let's see here. Um, okay, that's what I'll do. Oh my gosh. Ah. Uh, nope. Yeah. Well, you can tell these guys. It's been it's been fun. <laughs> One more frenzy, quick shot. Yeah, I'm gonna have to at this point. I'm definitely not gonna get shot again. It's better. Oh, there's a 19. That's a hit. All right, this is just to be standard damage. 16. He's got some serious armor on, but some more goes through. Yeah. Says, like, I could use some help, Colt. Get up here. Quartz, your turn. Quartz was aiming at the elevator, waiting for Crud to do 
uh, exactly what he did. Throw a Molotov on there and set anyone on in there and fire. He's kind of surprised to learn that it's one individual. Uh, but seeing that the man doesn't go down despite being encased in or engulfed in flames, aims and pulls the trigger with his shotgun. There we go. I opened up view for 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 the camera to there. Should you? All right, this is an aim shot. Aim, yep. So plus D four. Cool. Well, that screwed something up. It says zero. Uh, as it, it's it was a plus. plus. It's twelve. Yeah. That is correct. D four. Did the D four aims explode? No. Okay. All right, he's on fire and uh, he is suffering some negative modifier. So it's 12 was the target number, he gets hit. All right, we'll roll damage. Seventeen. Oh, jeez. Did it have my damage modifier in there? Um... Yeah, it was uh, plus five for the stud. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah he we're just good. rolled a three, a one, three, a one. Um, but still, that is, uh, he gets to take 10 from that, and he suffers. Blam. He's still alive. That was two actions. Do you want to burn yep. frenzy? Nope. Okay. Green Ronin. Oh man. He gets to act uh, before Colt gets there. Yep. Colt's like just coming around up the steps. Um, he is going to get up and start moving. And he can only make it to here. Uh, he's kind of backing up and he's going to be firing. Same, same thing. Oh, there's my uh, dodge. It's not very good. Oh. That's definitely a hit. I finally get to pay Ted back for all those times. <laughs> <laughs> Cal calculated. Oh, that's way above what I have. Ooh. That's that puts me negative sixteen. Uh, or no, not negative sixteen, I'm sorry. Uh negative twenty two. Move. Do you after armor? After armor. Oh, after armor, negative 16. 19. Yeah. Okay. Um, that is uh, instantly killed, negative 19. Yep. Uh, Ted does get uh, a luck roll, though. What is that, D100? Yeah, if you click on your guy, you can see the, the luck uh, button up there. Okay. Here we go. What do I got to roll? I think it's yeah, 10 or under. Okay. Fail! Oh. Uh, so, um, yeah, he, so he just, he just shut, did a double tap or just like oozied me basically. Yeah, he oozies up there. Yeah, the, you see all these bullets just flying up the stairs, bashing into the walls, and uh, some of it hits Shadow, and he's kind of more of a melee fighter, uh, and he tries to take cover, but, um, when in the green Ronin moves out, all these bullets just like riddle him like everywhere. And uh, he just 
falls backwards and turns over to a side and slumps to the ground and his uh his communicator like switches on you hear all the static and the and the bullets shooting but no shadow Colt, it's your turn. You get up there right, I guess, in time to see that. Yeah, I, I see, like, uh, you know, uh, shadows kind of slung over the banister, um, blood just oozing and dripping all over the place. Um, I look up and see the green, you know, green Ronin just, and just empty a clip into shadow. Um, Cole stands there, pulls out. You know, the, his his weapon is already out, and he takes an aim shot. So, oh, yep, aimed. He's at negative nineteen. His last words: "One round until dead." He does get last words. Oh, somebody can heal me. Negative forty-nine. Okay, okay, sorry. Uh... Oh, the shit's old. Alright, then... Oh, it didn't add the uh, D4. Go ahead and roll a D4. Oh. Did you do an aim shot? Oh, no, you yeah. just did a quick shot, right? Yeah. He said aim. No, no, it was an aim he shot. Said I said aim. Oh, aim okay. Shot. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, oh, okay. okay, so nine. What the fuck? Oh! Nice wow. hit. Nice. Uh, damage. Game damage. Any modifiers? No. And one power combo, right? Yeah. Thirteen. All right. You see, can you see him go back? He doesn't fall on the ground or anything. He just and his shoulder thrown to the side. Shooting again. Yeah. Um. Can I burn a frenzy and aim again? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Uh, what? Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh. What? What's the... Right, Is it a fumble. Yep. Shooting fumble. Okay. Do I click shooting? Yeah. yeah. Nothing. Nothing serious. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So there's nothing serious, but it's uh, uh, it's uh, it's like Colt is kind of shooting, and he like you know from he from the recoil of the first shot, he tries to uh, shoot again before he's fully steady, and the the gun almost like comically whiplashes him and he has to turn around and like shoot again. All right, Red Ronin. On fire. Comes running out of this fuck. Place. Uh, I'm gonna make a willpower check to see if he if he's even gonna fight you guys or if he's gonna try to put himself out. All right, he's charging at you. He's gonna attack Brother Crud with a heavy attack. What? 
a pretty poor swing. All right, brother credits, your turn. Um, I, I I'm gonna say Crud was reaching for the uh, the Molotovs when the guy came at him, and instead of throwing this, I'm just gonna smash the bottle over his head, or try yeah. to. Yeah. So I don't know if that's uh, like a. That would give you a minus three for that. Yeah, if you're not. Throwing. I'm sure it's not gonna be the same damage, and I might blow myself the fuck up. <laughs> How's, how's that going to work? Because he's on fire and I'm hitting him with the flammable substance from close range. Yeah, I would say go ahead and roll the uh, the regular Molotov. Oh. And, uh, just don't give you the negative three for throwing it. Since he's right there. Ooh. Okay, it'd be 16 then. Oh, shit. Well, time to see what happens, I guess. Alright, are you just trying to, like, take the bottle and smash him? Yeah, because it's like, it's just... Brother, Brother Crud's not very smart right now. He's just angry and high. So he's just... He was reaching for the bottle. The guy came sprinting out, and the first thought in his mind was crack this over this fucking guy's head, so... Alright, Tiger's defender. He jumps back. Uh... That's 16. Oh, it's 16. Yeah, and can... the, the, I didn't take the minus 3 off. Okay, go ahead and do yeah. the... Uh, go ahead and do the damage. Um, oh, God. <laughs> oh, fuck. How's... How's this gonna work for the explosion? <laughs> Man, I'm gonna say... Uh, let's do the scatter. Which direction? Just direction. Uh. <laughs> and then, and then we'll say, uh, yeah, some of the damage is gonna have to. <laughs> Sorry, Quaritch. <laughs> well, I'll be good. Oh fuck. So, uh, so half fire damage going on to Quaritch. Um, Thirty-five fire damage. I am going to use my ability. I am going to burn one point of frenzy as my heavy ability to soak damage. It's rating two, so I will soak uh, 50 damage of that and once subtract one phasey. Yep, once per combat. Nice. So it ends up singeing his clothes or something more than anything. It kind of hits him. He, he dodges it narratively. He dodges at the last second. Maybe it hits his shoulder and uh, like his shoulder is like burning a little from the, the Molotov and he kind of like slow motion like pulls a, a smoke out or cigar out of it and lights it on his shoulder and then just kind of blows it out. Well done. Pretty fucking good. And he, he he like goes uh he's just kinda growling and grumbling and he's trying to They said the tenth floor? Fuck, would he even remember that? I think Crud's gonna go for the other uh, the elevator that's not fucked and try to go help them in the stairwell. Let's go help Shadow. Yeah. And he will grab his bag and shit and start sprinting. Right. I think he thinks the elevator will be faster. Oh, are you running towards them or? Yeah, that's right. They're down on the tenth floor. Yeah, so he's going to the elevator then. Yeah. Yeah. So will so will Corch. Is it still burning? Is the elevator still burning? I'm taking the other one if that's legit. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you guys run over to the other elevator. 
Jesus. This guy's still uh still alive, but he's uh backing up. One action to open the door. He is firing. Uh, you'll get some cover from the stairwell there. This one's coming at, um, this one's coming at cold. All right, all one right. action, one action to open the door and then one action to fire. And you're going to get uh, cover from the stairs. So you'll get four cover. All you have to do is put a four in the modifier to defend. Okay. Ooh. Nice. All right. And that is it for him right there. Um, actually, he's going to burn Frenzy and fire again. Got to do it to you. Got to do it. Do it. Do it. Okay. Same thing. Same thing. Four. Four. Oh. Oh, one away. You don't have anything that can save you from that, can you? You don't um. have dodge. Oh, oh do you have, have a dodge ability? Yeah, you do have the dodge ability. Vision survivalist. There it is. If you have a frenzy to burn, you can add a d6, right? Oh yeah, yes. So I have a frenzy to burn. D6. No! <gasps> oh! No! Wait, Ty goes <laughs> to the attacker. No, wait. Ty goes to the defender. Oh, You're defender. Defending. Okay. Yeah, you only need yeah. the one. Just, just barely. Just barely. So, so what happens is, uh, um, uh, you know, cold, sh uh, cold shoots, misses. He goes through the door. The first shot, you know, cold is still coming up the stairs, so it just goes over his head. The the second shot, cold doesn't realize that you know the stairs are giving him cover. He uh, walks up, real makes realizes his mistake by which time. The Ronin fires again, and Colt just, you know, drops down to the ground just in time as the bullets go whizzing past him, and he kind of smacks his jaw pretty hard on the on the stairs. Uh, uh. <laughs> nice. Hey, Colt, it's your turn now. Okay. Uh, so Colt is going to shoot. Uh, aim shot. You could do a uh, nice. Right. Aim shot. Oh, and, and no wait, and a D4. And the a D4, D4, yeah. D4. Come on. Yeah, you can put that in the modifier. What the fuck? Damn. Really? Okay, so that's eleven. All right, he is trying to dodge minus. That's a hit. Oh, nice. Yes. Uh, damage. Woo. Nice. How do you take him out? So, uh, you know, uh, Cole kind of like gets up, shakes his head. He's like, oh, that hurts. And uh, he sees uh, the the green uh, Ronin kind of like fiddling with his gun. Maybe, you know, he got distracted with something about the gun. And Colt just uh, kind of lifts the, uh, the 38 special, and kind of cocks his and cricks his neck. And uh, a headshot on the green Ronin. Yeah. And then he starts like... running up towards where Shadow was. Yeah, it looks like he was he was about to like take off down the hallway, but blam, he gets dropped. 
and that ends the combat. Um, I guess um, you guys, uh, of course, uh, Colt will get up to Shadow first, and then um, the rest of you guys will show up soon after. Um, enough time for I mean if, if you want to have any last words uh, I don't know if you guys have any way to save him really yeah he's bleeding out no no words from him I would say we need to get him to that street dock as quick as possible let's move uh, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, and and uh, Shadow kind of, uh, you know, Cold kind of uh, starts like lifting Shadow and looks over to Brother Crud and Drift. Uh, help, help, help me with this. Uh, I don't know how much how much time he has, but uh, question, Rogue. Um, would increasing somebody's body score help them at all at this point in time? Throw some slow yeah. jack in me. I'm, I yeah. might let him <laughs> run to keep him from dying if I thought it would help him. Dude. I, I mean, it might. Uh, yeah, yeah, fuck it. If 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 Crud thinks it will help, I, I got something that'll keep him up, man. I don't want him to fall asleep. You know, people who sleep end up dying. So yeah, I'm just gonna give him a <laughs> slow jack. <laughs> <laughs> forcibly you don't get to say since you're forcing him can you do the rules of his uh, buffs and stuff yes he'll have to do his own drug tolerance if he survives though what does it give him to his body uh 2d6 oh shit it's, it's 2d6 to strength body and perception The body's nine. nine. Nine to the body. Let and then he's going to take negative 2d6 to will and charisma for the next two hours. So minus five, minus two, and but uh, nine, nine, seven strength, bod, perception, respectively. Nine to the body. <laughs> All right, that would bring his body up to uh... his body is a ten. It would bring it up to nineteen. Let's see, what kind of bonus does that give him on HP? So you guys are, are, are like rushing him to the hospital? Is that what's happening? Yes. Um, I guess we'll go over here. Um, what would Drift be doing? Uh, would you guys contact him? Yeah, we're contact? calling him to get to the front of the building. We got a severely injured shadow. We got to get to that doc uh, that treated you ASAP. Okay. Yeah, he was praying that in the meantime, while they were fighting, he was trying to break into the van. Did you get time to do that while all this was going on? Yeah, definitely. Did you make a mechanic skill roll? Uh, I didn't know. No, you, you okay. away, so Go ahead and do that. I can do that now. Uh, skills. I should have jumped over to you on the initiative tracker. No, no worries. That's yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You're definitely able to bust in. Um, right. uh, you notice that inside this van is like it's pretty pristine, very clean, uh, well taken care of, and um, uh, you do uh, end up finding out uh, uh, on the. Uh, this seems like a corporate uh, vehicle. And it is a, a hover vehicle as well. Oh, nice. That will be useful for taking Shadow then, because it's a smoother ride. 
definitely. Also, we can lay him out here. Yeah. And that would yeah. fit everybody easily. Great. Okay, I'm gonna. Yeah, so I'm I'm gonna nick any equipment that's in it. Um, we'll get ready to, and um, then when I hear them, I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna try and I guess unless they've left the keys in, I'm gonna. Well, I guess it's not keys, is it? But um, whatever the starting device is, security device. Um, unless they happen to have left that in, then I'm just gonna have to try and start it without. Yeah, they don't have, uh, you don't have the keys available, uh, but you are a operator, so. Right. Yeah, you so. Can try to, yeah, you can try to. Do I need to roll, or do you, is this this thing I can do? No, no, you can do it with your mechanics roll of 14, that's good enough. Ah, great, okay. Yeah, so yeah, he kind of uh, bypasses the uh, security. It's kind of a crude, almost like a hot wiring. Um, and he, um, he he starts it up, gets to, uh, gets to grips with the hover, and then um, uh, takes it round to the, to the front of the building. Do, do hover vehicles actually, can they... Um, can they gain altitude or are they set to just low altitude yeah you can control it you can um it's set to do autopilot you can uh, it does have wheels but the wheels can fold up and then it, it can start flying as well um, okay i'm going to do that and i'll say to them I'll, I'll meet them on the eighth floor oh nice then i can then i can i can get there quicker right. excellent so you pull up to the eighth floor and uh and pick him up and autopilot's gonna it's gonna keep you restrained to certain miles per hour um within the legal perimeters but you can switch off autopilot and use your own piloting skill um if you have pilot the hovercraft i do yeah uh, skill and um, if you want to get him there faster because he yeah, looks like so he's in bad bad shape yeah, so once we've got everyone in, I'll just say, okay, look, this might attract a bit of attention, but I can take the autopilot off and really hit the gas. Everyone all right with that? Do it. Okay. And, yeah, Drift is kind of running through, running through the, in his head, the process he's got to kind of go through, you know, the, uh, you know reminding himself of all the, the piloting of this craft. It's a while since he piloted one. But then, yeah, takes the autopilot off, um, plots a route, um, and he'll go over some of the buildings so he, we can we can do it faster. He'll take every shortcut he can. Go for it. Make your piloting. Okay. I want to see actually if I've got any abilities that will help before I do this. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm going to add a D6 to it as well. Exploding. I'm going to use my um, driver ability. Okay, so pilot hovercraft. And modifier is, can I just do D6 exploding as the modifier? Yes. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, oh my god. Oh. Nine, but there's a, there's a complication. A terrible result. I fall out of the. I fall out. <laughs> we didn't have his strap down with the lock of Oh no, I used his slow jack on. Too bad we lost it. <laughs> that was a waste of slow jack. Fucking <laughs> fell out of the bag. <laughs> the complications. I saw a hundred credits, so I'm not getting back. <laughs> Just use your briefcase, you're alright. <laughs> All right. Um, I mean, the complication could could be something else, right? Yeah, yeah. Kill me. Um. <laughs> yeah, you uh, you get to uh, uh, you get into a, a trouble with the traffic as you're like uh, uh, coming to the red lights and everybody's stopped and traffic is just horrible. All the whole traffic around this whole area—it's near the spaceport. It's near. You know the hospital 
even the uh, even the skyways is jammed, and everybody's trying to keep him alive. Um, okay, can I? I'm just going to go for in that case. I'm just going to go for an illegal maneuver. I'll go straight. I'll I'll gain altitude, go over the top of the other traffic, straight through the red light, and I'll I'll just try and get in there regardless. All right. As you uh, pull up to the uh, the hospital, uh, you realize you guys were uh, just not able to save him, even with the drugs. And you guys can go ahead and role play that as you wish. Porch had seen death a thousand times over his life with his various missions and jobs. And even though he didn't know uh, Shadow, it was always uh, something to have a team member die. And he kind of slowly sees him, sees him fading as Drift does his best to get him uh, to help in time, but to no avail. And, you know, he sees him drifting off and he just kind of puts a hand on his shoulder and looks at the group members kind of silent not saying anything knowing that there's not much to say uh colt is looking down on shadow and he shrugs his shoulders sorry kid this this is where the line ends for you Hope you find your leg somewhere in heaven, if there is such thing. <laughs> and Colt kind of looks up through the window and out at the city. Drift doesn't notice at first because uh, he's really focused on the on the traffic. He's really gunning it um, and uh, taking some risks. He's a hundred percent focused on the uh, on the piloting and. Uh, it's only when we get to the, he gets to their destination and stops and turns around that he realizes what's happened. And he opens his mouth to say something and then just shakes his head and lowers the car, lowers the hover car down, brings out the wheels and sets it down. And you just hear her muttered, shit. Yeah, Crud sees uh, Shadow fade out, and he's starting to come down from his high, but he looks at Shadow, and he kind of shakes his head. And... I'm sorry, man. We tried, brother. We tried. We tried to get you there. You know? It comes for all of us, man. I'm sorry it came for you today. No. Pound shadow on the shoulder, his fist a couple times. Fly high, man. Fly high, right into the stars. You notice too, um, uh, when you do that, he had a that picture in his jacket pocket of uh, Janet with her son, and it says, "Happy birthday, James." No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think we'll end it there for tonight. So. Yeah, on a good note. Rip. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're all happy. This is the first character of mine that's died in a very long time. I can't even remember the last time. Oh, damn. Sometimes you just get yeah. unlucky.